Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll create a three-month department report. We need to write the formulas that compute the report values. We are summarizing the data on the data sheet. The table is named TBL underscore data. The user enters the report start date into the input cell. The input cell is named date underscore report. First, let's knock out the report headers. These need to be date values and will compute the first day of the month. Starting with the first column header, it needs to be day one of the month, even if the user enters a date that isn't day one. If the user enters January 15th, for example, our report should reflect transactions for the whole month. This is easily accomplished with the EO month function. Equals EO month, the date, back it up one month, and add one day. Close the function and enter. Okay, looks good. The remaining report columns are easy. They are simply the last day of the prior column plus one day. Equals EO month, the previous column header, C22, comma zero, and then add one day. We can fill this formula to the right and we look good. Now, the report values are computed with our dear friend sumifs. Equals sumifs, add the TBL data amount column, only include those rows where the TBL data department number column is equal to our department. Since we're about to fill the formula down and to the right, we'll lock down the column reference and only include those rows where the TBL data date column is greater than or equal to the column header date. Since we're about to fill the formula down and to the right, we'll lock down the row reference and only include those rows where the TBL data date column is less than or equal to the last day of the month, EO month, the header date, Again, we'll lock down the row reference, and zero. Close the functions, and hit enter. Okay, looking good. Now, let's fill the formula down. Good. And to the right. Good. Now, we should be able to change the report start date. Yes, it's working great. Extra credit one. To build a report header based on the entered report date, we'll use the concatenate function. Equals concatenate. The first argument is as of space, surrounded in quotes, comma. The next argument is the report date, but we'll format it with the text function. So text, the report date, and the format code is MMMM, DDYYYY surrounded in quotes, close the text function, comma. The next argument is space and space, surrounded in quotes, comma. The final argument is the prior year, which we can compute with the year function, year of the report date, close the year function, and then subtract one year. Close the concatenate function, and before we hit enter, let's review. We want to join the following arguments, as of, the formatted report date, and the prior year. Hit enter. Good. Let's test it out by entering a different report date. Perfect. This video is a production of Click Consulting.